Welcome to week one of 52 Weeks of Storytelling. To say that I am absolutely ecstatic that you're watching this video would be an incredible understatement. We'll just start there. So what is 52 Weeks of Storytelling? 52 Weeks of Storytelling is what I'm going to be doing for the next 52 weeks <laughs> over the course of the next 52 weeks. I will be dropping a video every single week. Now, this video will include a couple of things. It'll include a very specific prompt that is out coming out of a journal that you can find linked below in the description. You can get it printed from Amazon or you can snag it at a lower cost price point as a PDF on Etsy. So what we're going to do is every week I'm going to take a prompt out of this journal. We're going to follow along in order of what's in the journal and go through and show and tell how you can use this prompt to write your story. This idea of 52 weeks of storytelling came to me when I was thinking about how I could help people tell their life stories and help others work with others to tell their life stories. So this is if you are a caregiver, a family member, uh, a state planners, a state lawyers, anyone who's in the industry of caring for someone else and is potentially helping someone tell their legacy or share their story, it can be really overwhelming. So the idea is that in 52 weeks, if we just take a few minutes per week to tell one story, at the end of 52 weeks, you have a book. And because of how I've decided which prompts we're going to cover, it'll cover a ton of different kinds of memories, everything from major milestones to bits and pieces of a person that we wouldn't normally think to ask. So with that, we're going to jump into this week's prompt. Remember to su subscribe to this channel, check out the playlist, I'll have it linked below, and so that you can see when each video comes up. Writing prompt. So today's writing prompt, this week's writing prompt, is favorite season. Now this might seem simple and trivial, but when someone decides what their favorite season is, it usually has to do with how they feel during that season, how someone else made them feel, and what happened for them, what happened for them in their family, what happened in their childhood, what happened in if they have children in their children's childhood as they were raising their own family. And all of these things come into deciding what our favorite season is. So, Using the legacy storytelling method, which is at a very simple level, the five W's, which are who, what, why, when, and where, and then the digging deeper questions. Those are all listed in their journal. What I want to share with you is that there's more to this person's story and their favorite season and more to your story and the favorite season than just saying fall or spring. So I'm gonna share with you using the storytelling framework what my favorite season is. And in the journal, you'll see where you can actually fill in this framework and then draft your own story. So for me, my favorite season is fall. And it, my favorite season is fall be, is because I grew up in Phoenix, Arizona, where it is just always hot. It, we have hot, hotter, and oh my gosh, it's hot. <laughs> like there's no in between and there's no season. But there are two weeks in October that are absolutely perfect. And it happens to be in fall. And I love the fall colors. I love the feeling of when things move from one place to another and that season of change and knowing something else is coming. And I just love the way that feels. Now I live in Western Pennsylvania and I get to see all the colors. So I love to see the colors change, the leaves change. It's really one of my favorite parts of living here. <laughs> And that's why I love fall. I love the memories that I have associated with fall. Fall for me as a kid meant we were going outside after me because of my skin, hiding inside because it was hot outside and I would get sunburned. So I loved fall in Phoenix and I love fall here. So those are my reasons. That was a little bit of who and a little bit of what and a little bit of where. Now, when we're looking at these digging deeper questions, usually I like to have people think about how memory makes them feel, how, um, how it might have impacted them, what do they want people to remember about this moment, and why did they choose this moment. So with a favorite season, that might not exactly apply, but in your story, if you want to include some of the things I shared, like the leaves and the way things feel, and maybe a special activity that you did, then you can dig into those questions. 
So that is your prompt for the week. It is favorite season. Remember, you can check out the journal that is linked below to follow along with this series, and it will be a series. It is a series. So I can't wait to see you in week two. Please come back and hang out with me and write with me. I hope you have an incredibly wonderful day, and until I see you again, happy writing.